Hello friends, my name is Bilal Khan and today I'm going to show you that how you can contribute to an open source project. So in this video, I'm going to contribute to the uh, Soda Foundation, but you can contribute to any project that you want to. So as you can see here that I presented the sodafoundation.io website. So inside this website, before moving to the contribution side, let's uh, get into the event side. So this is the event uh, by the name of Data Vision 23. And this event is happening on uh, 18 September 2023 in Balbao, Spain, plus it is virtual also so the event is about the open source data management and the storage solutions so you can further read about this by clicking on this read more button or if you want to watch a video i have created a separate video on this topic you can watch it by the name of uh, soda foundation overview inside this uh, event there will be multiple speakers coming in like michael kidd who is known for his 90 days of devops and you will be getting an amazing prizes and you will also get an internship uh, opportunity all right so these are the things that you can read it and take part in it so now let's go to the uh, contribution side so if you uh, scroll down you can see that these are multiple links like lay, uh, twitter linkedin uh, YouTube, GitHub and Slack channel that you can join it and ask questions here. And uh, if I click on this GitHub, you can see here, this is the Soda Foundation uh, organization. So inside this organization, there are two things that you need to keep in mind if you want to contribute to any project. Uh, the first thing are the languages that are used in it, like uh, Go, Python, TypeScript, HTML, or uh, Shell, any languages that are uh, used here. Or the next thing that you need to keep in mind is the Git. So these are the two things that you need to keep in mind. So if you don't know about Git, I have created uh, multiple videos about Git and GitHub in my 60 days of DevOps that you can watch them and further know about Git and GitHub. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send the pull request and contribute into it. So you can click on any of the repositories. So repositories are the, uh, what you can say, directories in, the, in which the files will be present. So let's click on this uh, doc directory. So sorry, doc repository. So inside this doc repository, uh, uh, the first thing that I need to do is to fork this repository. So forking is like creating a copy of this repository in my uh, GitHub account. All right. So it will uh, this uh, uh, doc um, repository, uh, um, uh, what you can say, copy will be created in my account also in my GitHub account. So let's fork this. So create fork. So now this repository is now created, is now going to be created in my uh, GitHub account also. So it will take me some time. So now you can see that it is successfully created. Once it is created, the next thing that I need to do is to click on this uh, code and uh, copy this HTTPS link. So let's go to the, um, what you can say, home, go, uh, source, GitHub, I will OK. And now this is the a place in which I'm going to clone it. So cloning is like uh, moving into or downloading into the uh, local machine. So let's write git clone and paste the link that I have copied. So paste the link here. So now this copying will take me some time uh, depending on the file that how much file it is. So it will take me some time. Once it is cloned, then I will be able to uh, contribute into it. But before going to the contribution side, let's uh, um, what you can say, let's wait for it. But uh, go to the what you can say, the um, doc, uh, what you can say, a repository also inside this repository. I missed one thing. And the thing is that if you want to contribute to any repository, you can check out these files and the uh, what you can say releases and the project community and the contribution guide. Uh, you will be further uh, further know about you will further know about it. But if you want to uh, directly move to the issue side, inside these issues, there will be multiple issues that will be open, and you can choose one issue according to your knowledge and contribute into it directly. So as you can see here, that there are multiple issues. Fifty eight issues are open, and. 12 issues are closed so they are not uh, going to be oh they are not open so you will not be able to contribute but the 58 issues are open so you can contribute into them let's say if you want to find the beginner friendly issue how you can do this let's click on this label uh, right good first issues right so this is a beginner friendly issues 
So inside this issue, you can see there are two issues that are open and they are beginner friendly. So I'm going to click on this first one, rename. So what it is saying that as there are a lot of legacy codes, there will be some reference to open SDS uh, need to rename them to soda. So why, uh, what it is saying that you need to re, uh, rename this open SDS to uh, soda. This is the simple thing that you need to do. And uh, as we move from SD, uh, open SDS to soda, the binary is generated and the folder names etc should also be changed to soda. So this is the thing that you need to keep in mind because they have changed the, uh, they have moved this code from open SDS to soda. We also need to change the name of the open SDS in multiple files to soda. All right. And uh, the question person asks that, hey, I'm a beginner and this, uh, this looks a difficult thing for me. So if you are a beginner, then it will be uh, difficult for you, but uh, I'm making it easy for you. And this is a person is saying that have, I haven't been able to find a beginner friendly issue until now. So could you please guide me and assist me through this one? So a person said that uh, who raised this issue that, hey, I would uh, suggest you to fork the repository. So first step that we've done is to fork the repository means we have mm, uh, what you can say, uh, we have created a copy of that uh, repository in our low, in our account and rename all the strings that this is the thing that I'm going to do to rename all the strings from the open SDS to soda. Try to build it. If it is all fine, you are uh, halfway through, then follow the testing. You can find some quick build and documentation in the repo as well as the documentation. So yeah, these are some of the things that they have suggested in order to fork it and contribute it. So yeah, this is an important thing. Now let's take a look at the terminal, whether this is uh, um, cloned or not. So 79% is now cloned. So it will take me some more time to clone it. So let's wait for it. And yeah, this is how you can contribute into it by looking into the issues. And once you understand the issue, you can uh, directly, um, or what you can say, fork this repository. And after forking it, and let me just show you again, uh, you will fork this from here. Once you fork it, you can go to your account, GitHub account, and from that GitHub account, you can click on that, uh, what you can say, um, HTTPS, and then you will be able to uh, clone it like this. So now this is how you can do this. So let's wait for this because 10% are still remaining. So yeah, then I will get back to you. So now you can see here that it is successfully cloned. So let's clear this. And once it is cleared, let's go to the uh, files and open this doc, uh, what you can say, uh, repository or the directory. So now what I, I need to do, I need to change the open SDS from uh, this name to soda. So let's start from the readme file. So let's write, uh, click on the control F and write open SDS. So as you can see here, that this is the, uh, uh, what you can see string that is written here. So I need to change this. There are three strings. Let's uh, select this, control D, control D. Let's write soda like this. Now let's move to another file, make file. So inside this make file, there is only one uh, open SDS. So I need to change it like this soda. And let's go to the, um, what you can say, um, another file that could be contributing guide. Or a, if we take a look at the contributing guide, there are 30 open SDSs string. So let's select this first one. And once it is done, let's uh, uh, control D, to press control D. And now you can see the, all the open SDS strings are selected. So let's write soda. Now they are done at once. So let's write soda in this one in for capital letters. So yeah. So there are multiple files inside these files. I need to find them and change them and test them. But these are just for the contribution purpose, uh, testing purpose that I have shown you uh, that how you can contribute and uh, send your first pull request. So now I think this is enough for me because they are, there are only three files that I have modified and they are only relevant to the documentation. So I'm not going to deep dive into it further. So let's open the terminal here. So after that, let's write git status. So this is the thing, uh, git status is a command in order to show you that what is the status of all the files. You can see here that these are the three files that are modified and you need to install the git in your local machine also. So, right? so after that, let's write git branch. There is only one branch by the name of master that is by default and you need to create another branch that is by the name of git branch. Uh, after that, the branch name should be changed words like this all right 
So now if I type git branch again, you will see that I have already also created changed words. So let's clear this and move from the master branch to the change words branch. So how can you do this? Let's write git checkout changed words like this. So now all these three files that were modified also moved from a master branch to this new branch. So if I show you the branch, you can see that now I'm moved from the master branch to the uh, new branch that is changed words. So uh, now what I will do, I will uh, add them into the git and once they are added into the git, I will uh, commit them and push them into the GitHub repository. So let's write git add the file name. So there are three files name, file names. So one, two, three. So instead of ri writing each file names like contributing guide or make file like this, I will simply write dot. So dot will add all the files into the git. Once they are added, I will write git commit with a message. So it will commit them with a message like uh, the message could be anything. So just write uh, uh, changed the words, rename the, uh, renamed the, what you can say, renamed the open SDS to soda in three files. Right, so now this is committed. So you can see here that all the uh, modification signs are gone from here. So now, once they are done, let's move back to the master branch. Let's write git checkout master. So now I moved again uh, from the uh, new branch to the old branch that is master. So you can see here git branch that is master branch. So now once I'm present in the master branch, I can push this branch. So how we can to push this git push origin uh, changed words. All right, so let's push this into the GitHub repository. So now you can see here that the uh, this data is now pushed into the GitHub repository. So si uh, simply you can see here that this is the um, pop-up that is appeared here that you need to compare it and send the pull request. But before say, creating a pull request, let's uh, open this issue because I'm going to mention the issue also. So how you can mention it. So let's write good first issues, label this and uh, first this one. Yeah, copy the link of this issue and once you have copied this, go to another tab and click on this compare and pull request. And now what I need to do, I need to uh, send uh, write a message here that what are the things that I have modified in this right section. All right. So let's uh, scroll down. And here I need to write uh, what this PR does and why we need it. All right. Uh, let's write like this which issues this PR. Yeah, so I need to write this one like that. So I, I have, I have, hey there, let's write the message, hey there, I changed, I changed the, uh, what you can say, word uh, from open SDS to soda in three files that were mentioned there uh, and that were mentioned in this in this issue so the issue link would be like this so let's click on this uh, this one and now get the, give this url all right so now this will be a url so if i go to the preview section you can see that i changed the word from sd uh, open sds to soda in three files that were mentioned in this issue so if i want to click on this or open this it will lead me to this issue all right so now what i need to do i need to click on this create pull request you can also draft this pull request uh, in order to not send it but i'm directly going to send it by clicking on this create pull request and if i scroll down you can see that it, these are all the changes that i have done so let's write create pull request and now this is done now all right so there will be some uh, checks that will be running but for now uh, it is not uh, they are not running because the review is required from the maintainers and the merging is blocked so uh, there is approval that need to be required from the maintainers so now uh, there is no need for me to work but if you want to know further about the checks and how you can sign the cla you can check out my kubernetes uh, open uh, contribution video in the open source playlist in which i have shown you how you can sign the 
CLA also. All right, that is the that are the paperwork or online paperwork that you need to sign in order to contribute to a specific project. So yeah, that's it for now. So uh, now uh, this is done now, and a person will review it and merge it. In my case, if I want to uh, what you can say merge it here, I can simply write git um, merge. What you can say uh, git merge changed. Uh, what you can say words. Now all the changes that were present in that branch are now merged into the master branch. All right. So now they are part of the master branch. So now let's delete that branch because their changes are merged. Merged. So um, changed words like this. All right. So now the branch is deleted also. You can see that only one branch is remaining. So now this is how it will be done. So now let's go to the, uh, let's remember you again about uh, joining this event. If you are not part of this, please make sure to join this event because inside this event, you will learn a lot of things. Plus you will get the uh, internship program also. And you can, uh, that internship program will be from two months to six and up to uh, more months also so that you can be a part of and make sure to join this event. This is just a one day event and it is virtual also free. So you can join it. There is no need to worry about it. So yeah, that's it for now. So I hope you understood and like this video so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions then ask those questions in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer all of them so till then goodbye